This is Standing Watch. And now, Evangelist Norbert Link. Greetings, everyone. And welcome back to our Standing Watch program. Do you keep Halloween? Will you keep it this year? Do we know the origins of Halloween? And if we do, does it matter? I have an article here by Country Living, which stated the following on September 4, 2019. In the midst of the parties and games and sugar rushes, have you ever stopped to wonder what the history of Halloween even is in the first place? Halloween falls on October 31, because the ancient Gaelic festival of Samhain, considered the earliest known root of Halloween, occurred on this day. Observers believe the boundary between this world and the next became especially thin at this time, enabling them to connect with the dead. The early pagan holiday of Sorwin involved a lot of ritualistic ceremonies to connect to spirits. Many believe the Celts celebrated in costumes as a disguise against the ghosts. They enjoyed special feasts and they made lanterns. So the connection to the spirit world, and I'm talking about the dark, demonic spirit world, is quite clear. It's even more clear when we realize what Express, an English paper, wrote last year, October 31, 2018. Halloween is the most important day of the year for devil worshippers, according to the founder of the Church of Satan. And everyone else has been urged to avoid celebrating this dark day. The holiday has its roots in evil. Anton LaVey founded the Church of Satan in the United States in 1966. He was the country's most prominent Satanist up until his death in 1997. In his book, The Satanic Bible, he wrote, The two major satanic holidays are Walpurgisnacht on May 1st and Halloween. Walpurgisnacht, or Saint Walpurgis Night, is a German annual event, which is known in German folklore as Witches Night. The Church of Satan recognizes Halloween as an extremely important day for evil. As a result, some Christians are warning people to steer clear of Halloween celebrations. Christian website Charisma News, and by the way, I know nothing about them, but they wrote, they are being quoted in this article, and I agree with what they are saying. There will be many people who will read this article and will continue to celebrate Halloween just as they normally do. If that is you, then you need to understand that engaging in dark practices can open up doors to spiritual darkness for yourself and your entire family. As Christians, we must not participate in these days of darkness, these days which are clearly dedicated to Satan and his demons. Halloween is Satan's festival. Don't make any mistake about it. The Church of the Eternal God publishes every week an update. And in this week's update, we have an editorial which says this, and I quote, Some who have known of the demonic influence in this world's religious holidays, especially Halloween, have chosen to return to their observance and bondage to Satan. And then we quote 2 Peter 2, verses 20 to 22, which reads, For if, after they have escaped the pollutions of the world through the knowledge of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, they are again entangled in them and overcome. The latter end is worse for them than the beginning. For it would have been better for them not to have known the way of righteousness than having known it to turn from the holy commandment delivered to them. But it has happened to them according to the true proverb. A dog returns to his own vomit, and a sow having washed to her wallowing in the mire. Close quote of the biblical citation and of our editorial. A person 
doing what is being described here stands condemned in the eyes of God. And that is especially true if a person allows or even persuades his or her children to follow their bad example. It would have been better, as Jesus Christ has clearly stated, if a millstone were hung around his neck and he were drowned in the depth of the sea. The Apostle Paul warns us in 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 20, not to have fellowship with demons. Participating in Halloween brings about fellowshipment with demons. It's clearly violating the holy and righteous godly commandment Peter was talking about. And very soon, and my friends, I mean very soon, God will pour out terrible plagues on those people who are still engaged in demonic activities, participating in demonic festivals. We can read about this in the book of Revelation. Please do not be one of those who will suffer tremendous and terrible plagues, because it's going to come. It is going to come. There is nothing to be said against that. God will do it, because God's patience is running out. You have been warned today. Are you still going to participate in Halloween activities on October 31? Don't be a fool. Don't be a fool. We have prepared a free booklet, Angels, Demons, and the Spirit World, which tells you in much more detail what this terrible demonic activity is all about. And you don't want to have any part of it. Thank you very much for listening. This is Norbert Link for the Standing Watch program. Standing Watch is a presentation by The Church of the Eternal God, P.O. Box 270519, San Diego, California, 92198. More information is also available at our website, eternalgod.org.